welcome to this tutorial if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video so in this tutorial we are uh, we are launching we have launched recently uh, a website that is called remote netguard the one that is presented on, on our screen so remote netguards it help you to uh connect with microtix router remotely currently we are supporting only microtix first and then we'll introduce uh the other devices so i will teach later about the tr069 and then i'll show you how it works and how we can uh, access your uh, your cpus remotely but right now we are talking about the remote net guard and how we will use it to access your remote microtix uh using it so first if you don't have an account you can just create an account but if you have an account like me you can just log in and when you create an account you will get like a thousand token uh for as as uh as a deposit as the first one and then we'll have to top up like uh uh the required amount tokens depending on the server that you'll be given and then me i'll just log into this uh to my dashboard then when you log into my dashboard you will see that i have an um i have here the tokens that i have deposited like 2000 i was given a thousand so i deposited a thousand because the server that i'm getting it will cost that a thousand tokens extra so here if you want to top up uh, your tokens if you have less tokens you can see here this is the package list uh, the uh, the package list of the tokens that you can get so depending on the required and the required amount that we use to order the server so you can just click there and then choose the payment gateway that uh, you prefer right now we support card and pesa so if you have the required amount of token to purchase uh, as uh, the vpn or the account you can just click here at order an account then when you order an account you can key in here let me just use this what i'm uh, i have here so i will use this cloudtick home and then i will choose the server you can see the server it cost me 2000 tokens and my balance is 2000 so it means i have enough coins to uh to purchase this so i'll just click the server that you want currently we just have one server so here you can put like a random uh you can put your the passwords that you want for me let me put a random one so let me put a random one a random one like um let me write like uh, alvin let me write like albo one one then i'll use just that as my password i use that as my password so let me use this alvo11, leave it as that, alvo11 as my password. So let me paste it there. This is not the alvo11. Let me copy this alvo11 and paste it there. Then here is the important part. So we have like three uh, ports, depending the default port for a microtic ones you buy it or when you reset it you for if you want to access the microtic via api you will use 8729 those are important points to note and then if you want to use it via winbox you will use 84 uh, 82 91 sorry for winbox and if you want to access it via web config you will use port 80 you can read like the notes that is written here so that you don't confuse so for me i want to access the microtic via winbox so i'll use 8291 then i will just click here make order so when i make order it will automatically create an account successful and then you can see from the balance here from the balance i have zero because i've used the 2000 tokens to purchase that order for for 30 days then i will come here to my order uh remote accounts when i click remote account this is the one that we have ordered right right at the moment and then you can just click here at manage so here you will find like your account information like the vpn name the one that you keyed in and then the username and then the vpn password so those are there but if you want to configure it with the microtic we'll click here at configuration and then copy this you just copy it by clicking that copy button and then log into the microtic that you want to access it remotely just click a new terminal and then paste it there so when you paste it there then click enter 
so that there and then come here to ppp at interfaces you will see that it will automatically uh, add this one here so you will see that status is connected once it's connected it means that you're ready to go then you can just come here at uh, information and then you will see that there is uh, there is uh, there is this there is this remote url you can just copy it because that is what you will use it as your microtik id uh, uh, a microtik uh, ip so come to your microtik because it's already connected i will log into this and then i will open a new terminal then instead of using the default ip that here for the microtik like this one you will use the uh, then uh, the link that you copied and then paste it there and then use just the same login and the password that you use to log in to your microtik locally then you just click here connect when you click connect you will see it to write login then download description you can see we have logged into the same microtik that is connected even you can see the vpn that is there then here you can see and but you can see the differences is that here we are using this api the API that you're getting is this one and for this you will see that it's written here as uh the local one is 88.1 so you can see and that's how you can log in to your microtik device remotely using remote netguard so see you in the next video